Julian now to Makoska. And he's caught him. Yes. Frederick says he's got it. He's scooping it up at ground level and the first wicket down. Makoska out. Caught around the corner by Roy Fredericks of Bernard Julian's bowling. A sharply lifting delivery that sends the West Indian spectators into a joyous demonstration. Which open now waits again for Julian. And it's just out of reach of that second slip. Went exactly where third slip would have been. And it's a good stop down on the boundary there by Andy Roberts. Good powerful arm. Very strong cricketer. Turner waits again for Roberts. Off the mark now. Fredericks is the fearsman. Oh, and he'll have to go. And that must be very close. My word, that was close. A good piece of fielding by Fredericks, who threw off balance, still on the run. Roberts to Turner. And that's very close indeed. My word, a good, a good delivery from Andy Roberts. Beat Turner with pace. And I reckon that was as plumb as anything you'll ever see. The second Australian wicket goes down. With 21 on the board, Turner, Andy Roberts, first victim. Nice shot. Pushed away in front of square. Fredericks on the chase. It'll be three runners here. It doesn't pay to bowl at either of these men on their leg stump. Gordon Greenwich fielding and three more runs, this time for Greg. And he played a miss to that and he's out caught down the offside by Derek Murray. Greg Chappell gone for 15, 49 for three. And what a wicket for Keith Boyce to get, the most talented of the Australian players. Oh, bold. And he's out. That looked a very good delivery indeed. Ian Chappell out. Another great wicket for Boyce to get. He's got both the brothers. 56 for four. And Ian Chappell gone for 25. What a morning for West Indies and for their supporters. Very good crowd in. All seats sold and no other spectators allowed in. Boyce to Waters. Greenwich, beautifully fielded. That is a great piece of work. What a great piece of healing by Greenwich and typical of the way the West Indians have risen to the occasion this morning. It's 61 for five with Walters magnificently run out by Gordon Greenwich picking the ball up on his wrong side, transferring it to his right hand and throwing down the stumps from a very acute angle. Now there is a miserable looking scoreboard from the Australian point of view. A very good one from the West Indian point of view. And it's Lloyd to Edwards. And that's in the air. Andy Roberts is the fieldsman, but it is the first boundary of the morning. In the last over before lunch, the Australians have struck their first boundary. They've hit a number of threes, six in all. It's a very nice gesture of them to send those planes over for the Australians hitting the first boundary of the morning. They're just a little bit late. Last ball of an over from Clive Lloyd. The batsman is Ross Edwards. And he's throwing the bat at Clive Lloyd. And it's four runs to Ross Edwards. Only the second boundary of the day for Australia. Edwards moving to 25. Rodney Marsh facing Roberts. And 
inside edge, four runs. Typical uh, resistance here from the six wicket. That's a fine shot off the back foot. And one of the rare boundaries of the day. Four signals by umpire Dickie Bird. And then Holder will be pushed to cut that off. Just doing so. Coming back for three. Good running by Marsh. Van Burns throw from a long way out on this large ground. Anthony Marsh is the batsman, Van Burns hold with the ball. It's through the gap and Greenwich is not after it. Clive Lloyd's the man having to chase. And it will just reach the ropes. A long boundary out there. Another boundary, and Lloyd not desperately happy. I don't think at Greenwich leaving that for him. Rodney Marsh, another boundary, takes him on to 22. Holder to Edwards. That's a good shot from Ross Edwards. A little bit of improvisation there because he's not a, a hooker or a puller. He's 50, Greenwich is the fieldsman and a nice piece of fielding. It gives Edwards his half century. A very good effort from Ross Edwards after top scoring for Australia in the game against Pakistan. He's also reached the only 50 of the day here at the Oval in this Australian fight back. 152 for five now. We're in the 43rd over now. Richards to Edwards. It's in the air, Bernard Julian over Kalicharan after it, but Kalicharan can't get it. Four more to Edwards. Some militant batting here now from both these players, Ross Edwards and Rodney Marsh, and that four takes Edwards on to 54. Richards again to Edwards. And that's in the air, it's a good hit again. It's landing just inside the boundary and beating Kelly Charan again. He was very late to pick it up. Couldn't see it in the crowd background. And the ball was almost level with him before he made a move. Bowled in. It was aiming on the offside. 58 bowled by Vivian Richards. And there are still 18 overs to go. I'm not sure that that was a wise thing for Edwards to do he still had plenty of time to bat and was batting extremely well 99 the stand between Edwards and Marsh Edwards I think probably a little annoyed with himself here but a very very good innings from Ross Edwards And he's given him out. Walker, LBW to Van Burn Holder. For eight. And seven wickets down now for 173. Hit that in the air on the leg side is Van Burn Holder under it and he's caught it beautifully. What a good catch. Very droppable indeed. Coming in over his shoulder. Coming down straight. So the end of Thompson for a single and that's eight down for 174. It's a very big hit. Ball is in the air on the leg side and it's over the rope.
That's Rodney Marsh's 50. for nine, Lily gone for three. Roberts, his second victim of the innings. Has he caught him? Murray's caught him and he didn't even bother to look at the umpire. Beautiful catch, right-handed. Andy Roberts, two in two. And no one else to get, not in this innings. Splendid catch by Derek Murray, didn't even bother to look at the umpire. Just kept walking towards the pavilion. Without that 99 for the sixth wicket between Edwards and Marsh, Australia would have had nothing much to bowl at, but Edwards rather gave it away with 18 overs left. Marsh ran out of partners, and it made no one-day sense for Australia not to use up their full allotment of overs if they could. In fact, they were bowled out in the 54th. Now it was the turn of Lily and Thompson, this famous pair from Australia, but neither of them could achieve an early breakthrough. Gordon Greenwich and uh, Roy Fredericks got the West Indies away to a lively start, and it was 29 for no wicket when Australia struck the first blow through their first change bowler, Max Walker. Gordon Greenwich facing batsman. Oh, that's well bowled, that is out. That was a really good delivery from Max Walker slanting in in the air and keeping on going after it hit the pitch and I should think that was very plum indeed Greenwich is the first man out with the total at 29 LBW to Max Walker for 16 you can see again now how that first wicket fell yes he's beaten on the movement in there and I think Greenwich was under no illusions as to whether or not he could stay out there hard and that just tipped Ian Chappell's fingers at first slip and that must have uh, stung the end of his fingers what a brilliant catch it would have been if he'd been able to clutch that down handsome looking shot beautifully timed and that's really hit the fence hard shot by Kalicharan, four runs, beautifully timed. <laughs> 64 for one, off 17 overs, 27 for Fredericks, 16 for Kalicharan. Safe, a shot of anguish from Max Walker and no chance of it being cut off. Walker hasn't had the best of good fortune out there. He's beaten the bat, had the ball fly off the edge through the slips. 68 on the board for the loss of only Greenwich's wicket. He made 16. Great shot, four runs, a beautiful stroke. Two men after it, neither able to cut it off, and a very good shot from Melbourne Kalicharan. The three runs there might even beat Lily to the fence. It's very quick on that downhill part, and in fact it does beat him to the rack. Very fast in that area, at the Vauxhall end of the ground. Nice little deflection there by Kalicharan. 
and it brings up the 50 partnership for Kalicharan and Fredericks. Ish the mallet now. Through the gap. Edwards is after it. He was the one to pick it up and they'll take three runs. They'll get four. All run. Good running from Fredericks. Mallet to Kalachua. Nice shot. Beautifully timed. Never left the ground for the moment. He met up with the full face of the bat. He got it away between mid on and mid wicket. Neither Makoska nor Thompson had the slightest chance. Very good footwork here. It's uppish, four runs and off the edge. And in all fairness to the Australian bowlers, they have had some luck, these two. Oh, it's a beautiful shot. Kenneth Charan just moving ahead of Fredericks. Oh, he's flashed again. Four more. I think Dennis Lilly will be as pleased as those spectators. That's a hook for four, and it's third bounce. Three fours in this over. Two authentic hooks, one off the edge. Getting delirious now. Three balls all gone for four. And he's done it again. Four more. My goodness. in four balls a dramatic over they're watching from Dennis Lilly Kalicharan really throwing the bat and that's only a single by the Turner to Fredericks. Last ball. Give me the one. Slight misfield by Ross Evers. And who would have believed that Dennis Lilly would be struck for 18 in an over? The first four balls all being dispatched for four to different parts of the field by Kelly Turan. Three on the leg side and one a very thick edge. A flash on the off. But Kalicharan has moved on in no time to 64. That's the target, 193. And of 31 overs, they are racing at the moment to victory, 133 for one. Well, Fredericks. And Fredericks throwing the bat as well. And Mallet can't cut that off. 50 for Fredericks. Karacharan again as the batsman. Great shot. Beautiful back foot cover drive. 
a most talented batsman, this little fellow. Beautiful footwork, whether against the slow bowlers or the fast men. Lily again. That's a beautiful hit. Magnificent hit picked up from roundabout leg stump. And what an onslaught Kalacharan has launched on Lily here this afternoon. Lily again to Kalacharan. Straight through second slip and four more. So once again the outside edge is brought into play. A rueful smile from Dennis Lilly there. And the ball flying through the slip area. Ian Chappell has only the one slip, that's himself. And the West Indian spectators are delirious. It should be out. Yes, it is. It's the end of a marvellous little innings from Kalicharan. A real little gem of an innings of 78, which included 1-6 and 14 fours. That is 62 in boundaries and a tremendous run scourge of Dennis Lilly just at the end. He's a great little character and played a marvellous innings, 153 for two. West Indies now, the Australians supporting, and the ground is rising to Kali Tarai. Fifty-three for two. The not-out batsman is Roy Fredericks. Well, that's beautifully bowled. A slower ball, and he's caught behind. And indicates that uh, he flicked his pad with his bat. As he leaves the crease, not very happy about that decision, Roy Fredericks. 159 for two, Fredericks is out for 58. Court Marsh bowled Mallet, a ball that turned a little bit. Played a very good innings. He had a few outside edges, but he got the innings away to a good start. And he's getting a very good hand from this big crowd. Fine shot. Beautiful timing there, it'll beat Walker easily into the fence. Racing the way down the hill there. Four runs to Kenai, takes him on to eight. Great shot, over extra cover. A lovely straight that, quite premeditated. Ian Chappell to Richards. And there's the winning run. I don't think they'll see that ball again. The players off the field into the area where the presentation will take place and the nomination of the man of the match. Those runs there by Richards take the total to 195 for three. So joy unconfined for the West Indies supporters as their heroes registered this decisive win by seven wickets. And uh, almost in the nick of time because the rain was coming down here at the Oval soon afterwards. Kelly Turan with that uh, tremendous assault on Lily, that exciting innings, that won him the Man of the Match award.